good morning guys so it's the 4th of July today um, I'm gonna vlog today starting off the day annoyed as fuck we just went through the Dunkin Donuts drive through and they told us to go park because the hash browns were gonna take like a couple minutes and I've cause I kept sitting here I was like I feel like we've been here forever I feel like we've been here forever and I find the receipt we ordered at 1046 and it's 1104 and we're seeing all these people leaving and I'm like are you Ugh, piss me the fuck off I'm just already in like an annoyed ass mood. They definitely forgot about us. Mood for life. Benny! How does it feel to, feel to be a year old, Benny? He likes whistling. Benny! He says that guys we're back from Benny's birthday bash and now we're making what are we making? Margar oh my god, I don't have salt on it. It's okay. You sure? Yeah. So I'm at the pool. I'm by myself finally. I want to take bikini photos because I've lost another pound. And I'm finally alone, so I can do it. So I need to like do that very fast. I forgot to finish vlogging yesterday. Like I, I just, I said I, we went to the pool and I didn't do anything else. But now I have a hair mask in, and you're cutting bug. Brown and granite kind of cups, but it's gonna be a washer and dryer. <laughs> installed right in here. Oh, what did you say? Washing, the, the life of two 60 year olds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put someone to the limit. When you're dull, they're physically out of shape. It's like a show that they do. Good morning, everybody. It's the next day. We went to the Angel game last night, which. I showed you guys like a little bit of that. Um, it is July 6th. Um, I have the morning off, so I think I'm gonna do some cleaning. Uh, yeah, some cleaning for sure. I don't really know what else. Oh, well, <laughs> I'm so dumb. I also have to um, pick my dad up from a surgery he's having. You guys, hold on. I always have had like stomach issues. I think that's because I've always just like had a sweet tooth and eaten so much like junk food. And I've had them since I was literally in like first grade. Like I remember in the morning before school, I'd be like going to the bathroom and I would literally would not be able to get up off the toilet because like I was in so much pain. Like that's how I felt. And I always said like when I was younger, I'd be like, mom, like is this what giving birth feels like? Because it hurts so bad. Now I'm 21. And I've noticed that if I eat like anything like super, like a lot of some, something that's super sweet. What are you doing? If I eat a lot of stuff that's like super sweet, the next morning I'm in, I'm like dying. And the other night I had like five of the mini, no, probably like seven of the mini Mrs. Peanut Butter Cups. Like not the thin ones, but like the mini ones. Oh, that hurt. And yeah, I, basically the next morning I was like, shh, I was, shh, I was on the toilet for probably the next like four hours. So I just finished cleaning up the room. Now I'm gonna clean the inside of my car. Um, just, you know, stuff that has accumulated. Okay, the door is locked. Recommendation in this category is to make sure that you're not wearing your hair pulled back in really tight hairstyles. So a really slick bun or ponytail, any hairstyle like that can absolutely cause
cause that breakage to happen. So minimize that whenever possible. Wear the hair in loose hairstyles. Like. <sighs> okay, now I'm just gonna clean off my car mats with a hose and some soap. Um, I am so glad I switched to rubber mats for my car. Um, because they're so much easier than the cloth ones. I can just spray these off so much easier if anything spills. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Now it's time to vacuum. All right, so I finished. So I've now decided that I'm gonna go to the beach, bitch. So let's get beach ready. Here are the steps to be beach ready. First, get a good sized beach bag. This is mine from Target. Get your sunscreen. I'm using this one, it's my favorite. Some form of spray sunscreen for your body. I'm using Copper Tone. Hopefully this doesn't have like, like benzene shit in it, whatever. We'll need a bikini. I'm wearing this one and this one. Let's change into it. This is the bikini. Top is Kulani, bottom is Kulani. I will be bringing my angel's towel. I love bringing like towels like this to the beach. I mean, they're not my favorite because they're the thinner towels, but it's nice because I can just like shove it in my purse all right beach bag is packed now let's go to the beach i need to grab my phone as well as my coffee and let's go so i literally got in my car was driving to the beach and i was like ah, you know what i don't want to drive all the way to the beach because i could only be there for like an hour and then i have to come back so i'm just gonna stay here and I'm gonna go to the pool instead. So, correction, it's a pool day. So I'm at the pool now. I can't even see what I look like. Yes, I have hair. I'm not, I don't look like a founding father, hopefully. Oh my God, I definitely do, I can see it. Um, but yeah, I'm at the pool, tanning. My front side is like significantly darker than my back side because I hate tanning my back side. I saw this post on TikTok, like talking about like which side that they hate, like, tanning the most and everyone was like what the fuck no like I hate tanning my front I hate tanning my back like it's just the worst like because I can't really go on my phone comfortably and everything I just hate it but yeah um oh my god this girl I follow she also posted um she does like a monthly like gym sub gym subscription thing so basically what she does is she puts out a new like gym workout routine every month and it costs $15 a month and she posted that she has 444 subscribers and I'm like this fucking girl is making like $6,600 a month just off of the gym stuff she's posting like why can't I just have like the best body ever and be like shredded so that people want to like take that advice from me like what the fuck hmm. also i remember one time i came to this pool and i had to, i always hop over the fence you guys know i have to hop over the fence because i don't have a key and i'm not rich enough to buy a third one and so why are there scratches all over my camera hmm. anyways um and like one of the like landscaper people who like come here and like do work on the landscape he was, like, staring at me while I was, like, tanning. And I'm like, oh, my God. And he's, like, he comes up, or he comes up to me through the gate. He's, like, hey, like, you know you don't have to hop that fence. Like, you know me. Like, I'll open it for you. And I was, like, I don't even know who the fuck you are. Like, I've seen him, like, two times. This I, this was a year ago. But, like, I had seen him two times at that point. But literally just stared at me. That was, like, all. And he's, like, you know me. And I was just, like, no, girl, I don't know you. <laughs> When I get too hot tanning, I just come and sit on like the first step and it's like the perfect, like, uh, it's like the best vibe ever. Okay, so I, 
I'm about to walk into Ulta. I just actually came to the conclusion when driving here, I'm the only person on this planet that knows how to drive. Everyone else is such a bad driver, it's actually baffling to me. And people are so like, inconsiderate. Like, we're literally driving on like a, what, like, like a, you know, in front of stores where it's like traffic goes one way and then this way. There's one lane each way. And you, these people have the audacity to like park in front of stores and like turn their hazard lights on and like think that that's like a thing. Like, think, like, I can't. I gave her the nastiest look ever. This pimple, I can't. Just got out of Ulta. Let me show you guys what I got. I got three hair products. Um, is my phone about to start playing music? Okay. So, I got three products. They're all from Bumble and Bumble. Oh my god, my battery's about to die, so I gotta hurry it up here. But, first I got their BB Gentle. BB, why does it say BB? Gentle shampoo. It's a cream e cleanser with enough moisture for everyone. I wanted to get the tea tree lavender mint moisturizing shampoo from Paul Mitchell, but they only had like the giant size, and I don't know if I like it or not. And then lately, instead of buying just like basic conditioners, I've been buying whatever like hair masks the company the, the company has. I've been using an, the native hair mask from Target, and I love that. So I got the hairdresser's invisible oil mask um, because they're just always way more moisturizing than basic conditioners like basic conditioners never seem to add enough moisture to my hair so I got this one and then I got the invisible oil heat and UV protective primer like I said I go out in the Sun a lot during summertime and I want something that's gonna protect my hair as much as I can during the summer from the Sun because I'm in the Sun a lot okay so yeah that's all that I got I'm pretty much just gonna go home now and wait for the, my dad's doctor to call me and tell me that he's ready to be picked up. Um, I'm already close to like where the office is, but I forgot. Like he wrote every he wrote the instructions down and everything for me on like a paper instead of texting it to me. So I forgot that at home. So I have to go back and get that because that has like the address and everything on it. So love that. Okay, yay! I'm excited. So I think I came to the right place. I honestly don't know. My dad told me like where it was by. So then I was like, yeah, I didn't want to go home and get the paper that he wrote down for me. So first I put into maps. I was like, let's just look up what I think it is. And it started giving me directions to somewhere that was close, but not where he told me it was by. So then I just drove here and I'm pretty sure I'm at the right place. So uh, I'm like I'm Lewis and Clark or whatever. Anyways, I guess I'm just gonna sit here and wait. Guys, I'm so triggered. So I just called the lady to be like, hey, like, do you know what time my dad's gonna have surgery? Because he's supposed to get out now. Um, and sorry. Um, and she was like, oh, he's still in pre-op. I'm like, what? What? What do you mean? And so she was like, yeah, so it's probably gonna be another like 45. My camera rudely died, but basically, I'm obviously not gonna sit here for another 45 minutes. It's 1:37. That would be like so much later. And then they said they'll call me 15 minutes before to come get him when like his um he's in post op. I don't know what to do. I'm not sitting here for 45 minutes, but driving back home, waste of time. You know, I guess I could just go hang out at my mom's house. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go to my mom's house. Um, it's not too far from here. And just hang out with her and Benny. And then until I have to go, hopefully it's done soon enough so I still have time to go all the way back to my house and get like my clothes for work and get dressed and stuff because, hello. Guys, they finally called me and told me that my dad was ready to be picked up. So it's 2.40, probably get there at 2.45, probably get back to my mom's at three. Then by, no way, I won't be there by 2.45. Whoa, 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 I'll probably be there by three, get back to my mom's at 3.15. Then I'll be back on the way to my house to get ready for the freaking work. Ugh. Good morning, everybody. So I'm here to end the vlog. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. 
Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this little like week in my life and I definitely am gonna keep posting them So if you like them, that's good. If you don't like them Boohoo for me. But yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye